Hey everybody, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and I'm going to do a walkthrough for our September 28th, 29th, and 30th Modern Design and Decorative Auctions. A cool 1,600 lots in the three days, online only bidding here at Uniques and Antiques in Aston, Pennsylvania on September 28th, 29th, and 30th, 2021. The auctions each day begin at 10 a.m., and uh, I'm here to go and walk around and see what we have. There's some nice Paul Evans. There's great glassware. I'm gonna do a walk overall, just so you can see the amount of stuff that's in these three days. And then I'll go through a second time and look a little bit closer at all the items. So the first few minutes here, I'll just walk up and down the aisles and you can kind of get an idea what's here. And then I'll spend a little more time. Uh, this room right here is the end of the first day. It's all, Everything mid-century, Curtis Jair, Dance, Lucite, Murano, Artwork, Rosewood, Danish, Paul Macabre, Paul Evans, Brasilia, Herman Miller, Danish. All right, let me continue this direction. Lots of good Pearsall, Danish, Furniture, Wicker. There's the Fritz Hansen swan chairs. Here's a great, huge Lucite horse. More items down there. I'll spend more time on it in a second. This direction, Russell Woodard. Chandeliers galore. More rattan. Klismos chairs. Whitco. Great chandeliers. Barcelona chairs, yellow lamps, X-Base benches, Danish, rosewood, dining furniture. Let me go into the lobby here. Walk down this aisle. Very full auction. The Dorothy Draper. Lucite edged stuff right here. Looks a lot like Springer. That great lamp right there. Into the lobby, George D'Amato in these pictures back here. Some nice outdoor furniture. Tynell style lamp, chandelier. In the lobby. All right, so while I'm out here, I'll just continue on. The third day of the auction is going to be uh, decorative arts, which includes antiques, jewelry, Porcelains, antique furniture, oriental carpets, lots of Asian furnishings, etc. Great Victorian. So this is day three that we're kind of seeing right here. And I'm going to spend a, a little more time on these items once we, once we uh, do the full lap. So this is all on September 28th, 29th, and 30th, bidding through our website, at uniquesandantiques.com, you can get the links to Bid Spirit or Live Auctioneers or Invaluable. So a bunch of these grouping lots will be at the end of the third day. Let's continue back to the beginning and see what we have. All right, so as usual on Tuesday morning, well, first of all, let me uh, remind everybody that uh, inspection will be on Monday, the Monday before the auction. And we start over here in this section right here with lot number one. You have some good Willie Ghoul. You have uh, that great table right there with the uh, pottery top. Marble. You have good statues. Lots of great Murano and decorations. Good grouping right here. And then we continue on in the rest of the first day. You have the Paul Macabre. You have the Phil Powell. You have the uh, Haziza, Lucite statue right there. There's another Haziza right here in the back. That's a great piece of art. Uh, great stylings there. There's the Dunbar chair in the back. More Lucite. These are signed P.E. Paul Evans on these uh, this table right here. You have the chrome bench. Murano egg lamp. This is from the Metzger estate in the style of George Nakashima. So on that nice, uh, from the Catherine Metzger 
not a state. Uh, I've been uh, informed that she's, uh, it's the Metzger family. Here we go. So these are laurel lamps. Very nice. And they have the Roan table in the back right there. The Bernard Roan. Some great Warren Plattner chairs. With the good bases on them. Need to be reupholstered. Uh, spring lamp. Let me walk down this back alley right here. You have the good uh, pottery. Here's some more pottery. Here's some C. Jair wall sculptures. Look at this amazing uh, unit right here. It's, it doesn't, it's not kinetic, but it is very cool the way it's all uh, geared up right there. And now this is one of the reasons why people look at the, uh, at the video. You can see the scale of this. In the pictures, it kind of looks smaller. This is huge right here. It's probably a good 20 inches tall. You have good R.Y. Agusti vases, Murano centerpieces, some great uh, kind of abstract sculpture. Mobiles, you have Lucite. You have these amazing sculptures right here. They're all wall hanging and they're all by the same artist, R. Russell Brown from the 80s. Very cool, and you can kind of see better in the video how they kind of are all three-dimensional. All right, so now we have a great uh, wall unit right here, kind of a burnished brass, and it's full of great decorations. You have these are Rosenthal Netter. You have uh, brass. You have some more like Paul Evans style uh, cubes. There's the seahorses, more fish enamel seahorses. All right, let me turn around and continue this way. Oh, there's a set of these nice chairs with the, um, with the leather. Uh, what are they? Laverne, I think. Uh, Estelle Laverne. Moving around this way. Let me continue on. Some good decorator tables. These are metal on top with like a brass. They have glass and they have a metal base. Another one of these laurel floor lamps. You have the Hollywood Regency with the mirror top and the kind of deco base. You have the the uh, tables right there, Saltarini style. You have uh, Victor Vazzarelli. Let's see what this one is. Another op art painting behind it. A lot of these uh, kind of three-dimensional pieces of art. That's also by Brown. Here's another kind of Lucite-based sculpture. That's uh, a metal owl. Let me go back into this room right here. Now, these are by Noel Saarinen. Another Saarinen Noel over here. There's Leonard. Don't, don't get him on video, he's wanted. Now we have some Hans Wegner style chairs. You have some good deco chairs, more Eames. There's a nice, um, it's displayed better on our website, but you have a nice pile of, not pile, but a bunch of sets of chairs. They're, they're nicely stacked here. We don't have the stuff piled up. Uh, and it, there's another set of uh, bar stools. You have uh, lots of Danish, lots of uh, lamps and mirrors, artwork and all. All right, so let me continue on. This is still all day one. Day one, which is Tuesday, September 28th, uh, with bidding on live auctioneers, Invaluable and Bid Spirit. Uh, preview on that Monday before it on the 27th from 10 to 6. All right, so more of the same. We have uh, good... Kind of the goop credenza right there. And this is part of a bedroom set. Very nice with the uh, kind of burled finishes. Let me come around here. Dolce & Gabbana silk fabric on that nice heart chair. Let me come this direction. Look at that great fish. Now here, <laughs> this is a perfect one for me. I saw the picture of this. I really thought it was about six inches tall. It's a good two feet tall on that fish that fish uh, statue, good bars. Look at this vintage kind of uh, Formica bar with the surfboard top. You have Murano lamps. You have lots of abstract artwork. Some of these are sold in groups. Some of these are sold in um, individually. Look at this one right here. This has got a lot of age to it. One of those Eames style ball hooks. That's a hooker desk in the background right there. Look at the size of this guy. You see these a lot, but it's rare that you see one that's like a good uh, 30, 25, 30 inches wide. 
All right, let me continue down. You have the stress list by E. Cornus. You have a nice table and chairs right here. If you're looking for a Danish set with a good table with a leaf and teak. Here's another set right here with a bunch of these chairs. These are good chairs in teak as well. There's at least four of those. Here's the Swan table base. This auction is so packed, you almost have to walk around two, three times before you see everything. This is Casina, Le Cubusier. It's signed. So this is not one of the uh, copies. This is one of the real ones signed right here under the back. Coming around here. Let me walk down this aisle a little bit. Very cool Chanel upholstered brass kind of boudoir chair right there. Some more of these tables. These are uh, very cool step tables. You have these little uh, kind of um, magazine racks on the end. Paul McCobb style furniture right there. Look at the uh, cool industrial chair. Continue on, more to see. All right, let me continue this way. We do this left side as we walk down. You have Dunbar, Dunbar couch. You have these Genrette style chairs. Look at that nice lipstick mirror. This is a drop down desk on that piece right there. All right, continuing through, there's the letter F. Here's a pair of these, and a nice one of these uh, kind of chrome console tables. We continue on, Lucite base cocktail tables. You have some amazing uh, coffee tables in this section right here. Look at this desk right here. This is a desk with, uh, with rosewood top, chandeliers that look like this, nice mirrors. Look at the base on this uh, trunk table. Continuing on down this way, these are very cool. They're upholstered with uh, Louis Vuitton fabric on these bar stools. Continuing on, you have always popular uh, like rustic wood stools and benches. All right, let me continue back. Look at those. Yeah, you couldn't see them because I was so close to them. Those kind of rustic wood pedestals right there. All right, let me continue on. This one is a an original Eames or maybe that Saarinen womb chair. And then back here you have the Whitco, signed Whitco bench. All right, let me continue down this aisle. This is signed Thayer Coggin, Milo Bauman with the uh, cream color. Nice pair of pink lamps. Let me back up so you can see some chandeliers. Nice lucite bent lucite chandelier and that's a red one with the balls here's one of these like s smart uh mirrors right there with all the different angles that's where we started look at this great table or uh, great uh, bench right here it's got like lucite and then it has this evans inspired metal brutalist base very cool again 1600 lots just peruse our website i'm sure you'll find something that'll interest you there's some great tables and benches and lamps all the way through. Now I'm stepping back this direction because I wanted to do to the right of where we were because this is some of the better items in the auction. Here is a pair or make that two of these cabinets by Paul, Mc Paul Evans. So this one right here, very nice. Let me go all the way down. Paul Evans with the goop kind of like the... Uh, the bronze finish on it. It is missing these uh, kind of inserts, but that's just a piece of slate. You just need to slide in there. Let me come around to the side right here. You can see it's clean all the way around on the Paul Evans. Let me take a look at this one while we're over here. Another Paul Evans cabinet. This one's a wall hanging cabinet. And it, it, uh, it's harder to get open because of the, uh, the way it's sitting on top of the base. I'm not going to force it. So it sits on the wall right here and has holes in the back where you, where you screw it onto the wall. Very nice, clean all the way around on the Paul Evans. This is amazing. It's a... Fender Stratocaster all uh, etched 
by Greg Rich as an Indian motorcycle tribute right there. Very cool. Uh, legend has it that the original buyer paid thousands for that at a charity auction. All right, let me come this way. Good art. I'm not going to go all the way through it. You have this stack of mirrors and another one of these tables with the uh, inlaid pottery. You have the Thone chairs. And we're going back around front. So suffice it to say, we continue on with lots of great uh, furniture, modern design. This is one of those uh, Solari bells right here, but you never see one this big. Look how, look how large it is. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can even pick it up with one hand. Oh, that is heavy. This thing probably weighs 30 pounds. Very nice. And look how large it is. All right. And the Milo Bauman for DIA in the back there. You have the spires. You have a nice piece of kind of uh, abstract carved marble. You step over into here, you have the Joe Seltzer industrial art, welded. You have a pair of nice mirrors, like with the uh, green marble. This is a very cool table right here. This is all metal. You got the uh, small drawers. It's got like a Springer style finish to it. All right, let me back up. There's two of these bachelor chests, some good pottery, great large scale on a lot of these pieces of glassware. These are very big. Look at that bronze lamp. Here's a grouping of carpets. They're all spread out and pictured and we have them in our catalog. And uh, suffice it to say, that's about the uh, size of day one and two. Let me uh, walk down this way just so you can see the end of the uh, modern design auction. And then we'll get right into the day three decorative arts auction. Coming down this way. All right, so we're going to start the auction. Um, truthfully, we're doing this a little bit premature because I don't have the exact order of the sale set yet. But all these items will be in the auction. We are here for day three. And this is going to be on the 30th of September. And I'm going to quickly go across all of the groupings of jewelry that we're selling and um, costume and there's some other little bit of coins here at the end. So these are all gonna be in the third day. Uh, we usually start with smalls and porcelains and silver and things like that. So these items are slated to be earlier in the day. You have good Asian porcelains, you have colored glass, you have carvings, you have some other nice porcelain figures Let's move down this way. There's a nice little fresco right there. Here is some more porcelains. You have the onion. You have the uh, nice bronze clock. You have some good china sets. Look at these Art Nouveau candlesticks, candelabras. Look at this great kind of like Sabino glass. For, I think it's Verlise. There's some good lusters. Here's some more crystal candelabras and men with swords. Here's a good kind of early tavern scene painting. Look at this nice porcelain clock. And let me back up. You can see you have some good kind of like tribal pottery. You have this, which is a kind of a food dog all made out of bronze and inlays. There's, it looks like this is probably French. Not sure, you have to check out the catalog pottery up top. You have some good lamps, prints, chandeliers, more lamps. Look at this guy right here with his sword. Some more block prints. This is a, an electric guitar. There's some some uh, prints, some mirrors. And let me continue on. Oh, this is a great set right here. It's all I think it's silver plate. Let me just check real quick. Looks like this. I'm not sure. I can't read it. I think it's sterling. It's a very nice set. Moving around this way. So now let's walk up and down the furniture. 
So I'll walk down the side first. You have a great desk with uh, applied carving. You have some nice uh, leather top tables. Here's a pair of these chairs. And look at the chandeliers across the top. You have like French chandeliers and birdcage chandeliers and others. Here's some nice carving like an arts and crafts or tramp art triangle table right there. Here's a great like French style half table. Here's another one that's all lacquer painted, japanned. Here's a set of uh, a whole bunch, maybe 16 of these chairs with the, with the circular backs. This is an amazing table. There's two large boards for it, leaves. All right, let me continue on. Walking up and down the aisle. This is all on the third day, on September 30th. This is gonna be a Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, September 28th, 29th, 30th of all three auctions that are coming up. You have the good Kittinger. This is the Kittinger wall shelf. You have the vanity behind it. Some good mirrors. Those are full length mirrors right there. A good seven feet tall, each of them. Look at this great uh, sideboard up on legs. You have some amazing chests and Look at the uh, rams on this table right here. Look at the curios. There's a nice marble top. Look at the amazing specimen marble top there with the carved in or the inlaid fronts. This is an amazing, uh, like Korean probably chest. A uh, pair of these metal horses. They're large. You can see how big they are in scale on top of that piece of furniture. Then you have game tables, more chandeliers on top. You have marble tops. Look at this carved table. We're here to sell these items, so there's a lot to go around. We, we do about 40 lots an hour, maybe 50. So kind of gauge if it's a 500 lot auction, it's going to take us a good 10 hours to get through it all. Maybe a little bit more. Bear with us. We want to make sure everybody gets their bids in. We want to make sure all the consigners get as much as they can for the items within reason. And also everybody gets their chance to buy it because there's always... Uh, so always bids coming in late and making the auction last longer. Here's a nice uh, set McHugh on the uh, mission. Has a very stickly look to it, but it's got the uh, it's got the little kickouts on the feet right here. Let's move down this way. Look at these really wild pieces right here. Is it one piece? Oh, I thought it was two stacked on top of each other. It's one like lingerie chest. Here's a tall boy, high boy, mahogany. Look at this great mirror right here. It's like kind of a pottery frame with the good colors with, with the dark blues and the corals. All right, so now we're about out of day three. We are also, and I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek. It doesn't really need to be in the video, but all these shelf lots will be sold at some point in the auctions, maybe later on in day three, maybe, um, maybe in a different day, but probably not in day one or two because they're pretty much locked down. So we have lots of shelf lots that we are going to get through in the meantime. All right, so this has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. Let me take a walk through here. There's our glass pile. And just give you one last span of the room. And uh, thank you for watching. This has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. We'll see you at the auction. Bye-bye.